What up, everybody? So Ronan here and I are over here in New Bedford, Massachusetts to check out some snack food at the Wonder Bowl. That's right, we're going to be doing a review on Bowling Alley food. So we're going to go inside and we'll see you on the inside. So come on with us. Which is at Wonder Bowl over in uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts. It's a bowling alley. So we're here to do a food review on some bowling alley food. Off Street Strikers Sports Bar and Grill. That'd be the uh, bar part. Um, as of right now, the uh, the snack bar is open. So that's where we've ordered our food. And we're sitting inside the bar part right now. And they have a lot of stuff on their menu, both on the bar side as well as the snack bar. By the way, Strikers Bar, Sports Bar and Grill is at 66 uh, Hathaway Road in New Bedford. And as um, you already know, this is uh, connected to Wonder Bowl. Um, Which would mean it's the same address because it's owned by Wonder Bowl. Correct. It's a nice little, quite a few tables actually. Busy uh, with a lot of people playing bowling. And uh, they have a nice assortment of menu here. We went with the uh, cheese slice of pizza, chicken nuggets, and uh, two diet sodas. Right. And we got the uh, buffalo dipping sauce for the nuggets. And so we're looking forward to trying this out and see how the food is and stuff like that. And so far, well, the customer service has been thumbs up. When we first got here, we weren't sure what we wanted yet. We said we just needed a minute. And we were told no problem that when we were ready, just ring the bell. And then uh, and that was it, you know. So when we were ready, we rang the bell. They came right over, took our order, and then they gave us uh, this thing over here. Which I'll show you right now. You know, just like you would get, like, say, if you went to places like uh, Pub 99 or Texas Roadhouse when they're... Or, or even you know, Kathy's. Yeah. Because Kathy's, if, uh, well, during the COVID uh, uh, pandemic abortion, uh, afterwards, they would have these that you could sit out in your car and you could wait and tell us to go off and then you can go pick up your food and, then, you know. But I think having stuff like that is nice. You know, because it lets you know when your food is ready and you can go and find yourself a table. I mean, honestly, if you go into the bowling alley side, the only table, there's only like one table out there and it's near the ticket machine. And then, you know, obviously you've got like a bar area that looks over the lanes that you can sit in. Or you can find yourself a nice comfy spot in here like we did. Right. And you must be saying you're at a bowling alley trying food. Well, it's still food, and well, we're foodies, and that's what food critics do. We try food from all around. And the prices are not that bad. I mean, uh, hot dog, it says according to this, all beef hot dogs, five fifty. I don't know if that comes with uh, fries or not, but... Or you could get like a whole 12 inch pizza for what was it like 10, 18, I think that says. Yeah, 10, 18. Or you can get a 16 inch pizza for 14, 58. Which isn't bad. But we went with the slices, which was cheaper. The slices are. Oh. Two seventy five. Two seventy five for a cheese slice or three dollars for a one topping slice. Dollar fifty per topping or two twenty five per topping for steak or chicken. 
which, you know, isn't bad. And right here it also says veggie 2 2118 barbecue or buffalo chicken 2118. I'm guessing that would be uh, pizza still that they're talking about because it's under the pizza section. So, I mean, it, it's not bad at all. Uh, Me personally, I think if you're going to want to get hot dogs and you're going to want to get like five for, you know, five and one for free, I would recommend like something like uh, Lexi's Road Dogs or something like that. Because the hot dogs there will be a little bit cheaper, a lot cheaper than a place like that. And the reason why I'm saying this is because, you know, when you're dealing with a family issue where you're going to be more than one person, you want to have, you know, more for your buck. Um, this is more for, like, if you're just hungry and you just want something to chow down while you're playing a game, it's fine. It's here for your convenience. Right. And if you're someone that's into, like, nachos and cheese, 710, that's actually not bad. That's about what most of the hot dog joints will sell nachos and cheese for today. And food is ready. Let me see. See? This is what it does when your food's ready. So, that's what I'm saying. Um, this is a good little place just to have some, a snack. Uh, while you're hungry, eat something. We got some nice video games at Wonder Bowl. Wonder Bowl. Uh, I saw some video games that they had here with the kids. I used to like playing video games when my mother used to uh, uh, years ago. Big bowling alley, so it's a nice place to come and visit and uh, have some fun with your family. Tough Daddy has gotten, he's going to get the food, but it should be interesting to try their pizza. Okay, okay. Oh, the food just came, and I need to actually... look. This is what the pizza looks like. Mm. And we also got two diet sodas. Yeah, like Ronan said, look at that. Cheese is melted. It looks pretty it's nice. A little crispy just to it. It reminds me of school pizza. If you like school pizza. Oh, it's not even crisp, Bobby. Here with Ronan, the crust on the bottom here has a nice crunch. The cheese is really nicely melted. It's good flavor. I like the sauce. The sauce well, isn't that bad. Uh, to me, it's okay. Again, it's snack food. Yeah. <laughs> snack food, I would say it's not bad. Not what you would expect for snack food. Well, like I said, it's like a, if you went to school, this is the, almost like the type of pizza you would get at school. And my house going up, I didn't mind uh, school pizza. I actually looked forward to it. It was one of the best items on the menu. For me when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. Like that. Has a little bit of uh, nice and crispy. Has a little bit of that nice sawness. I like that. It's nice about sitting in this box. So it's got TV where you can watch sports, movies, or even something else. Now this is the chicken nuggets. Let's see what the chicken sauce. This is good. Uh, that pizza wasn't bad. It's just tried to stick it by itself. Oh, so I'm ripping it off because, yes, I do plan on tipping it out.
Well, it's not, it's not bad. That's good breading. Decent amount of chicken. Now, because I whipped my piece off, let's just try it with the uh, I like that buffalo sauce. Yeah, the buffalo sauce is good. Mm. 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 It, it'll, it'll satisfy your hunger. What, what I say the pizza is, is good as little seasons or dominoes. Or, one of your favorite places. For me, it's not. No. But I mean, personally, me, like my wife and I, when we have pizza, we normally go to the small mom and pop places. We, we don't care too much for places like Domino's and Little Caesars. Right. I mean, we'll eat it if someone offers it to us, but again, you know, it's just our preference. Everybody's preference is different, everybody's taste buds are different. Again, these views are simply just Ronan and I's opinions. Correct. I actually didn't mind the pizza. And I actually liked it. I thought it was all right for something that would be like what they would call barroom or bowling alley food. You know, it's there, again, it's there for your convenience. Yeah. And there's still one chicken in the piece left. I wonder who's going to eat. I actually, I thought that was for you. Oh, I had two. How many did you have? Two. It'll be nice and split it. And also, too, these videos are to show how just simply a, just how two people can come together and enjoy a meal together. Exactly. You know, Rowan and I consider each other more family. My wife and I, we both say he's family, he says we're family. And family isn't by blood. Families are those that are there for you. Yeah. I mean, Google has it at four point. That's about... I mean, I would give it at least... I, I'd say it's uh, applicable. I, w I would say at least maybe a four. Yeah. I'd say at least a four. Yeah, I would do that too. Well, that's what it is for me. Four stars. Yeah. I mean, it's which is still a good rating. Yeah, it's it's edible. Uh, it's just for me the the, the the when I've had even pizza at school, sauce. I, I like the sauce that they used to have in school pizza. Uh, a little bit better than this for me. Uh, but but that's what this type of pizza kind of reminded me of. But again, this is just a rating on snack food. Yeah. So if there's anywhere else that you'd like to see us go and uh, do a rating on, on snack food and try, just please leave it in the comment below. Also, leave in the comment below what you thought about this episode as well as where, again, where you'd like to see us go next. And we'll do our best to go to that location and right. try its food. And not only try its food and give our honest opinion on it, but we'll also give our honest opinion on the customer service and the establishment. And again, I can honestly say, speaking of customer service, customer service here is good. Yeah, the customer service here was good. So based on the customer service, uh, the customer service I would give a five stars. That I would give five stars on. The food-wise, I give it four. So I give the food four stars, the customer service I give five stars. Because uh, it was, the customer service was outstanding, very polite, very friendly. And even after I picked up the food, they still asked me if there was anything else I would need. So that's why I'm basing customer service on five. But from what we ate, based on snack-wise and there, for your convenience, four stars. With that being said... Yes, we just want to thank everybody uh, for always tuning in and watching all of these episodes. Thank you so much for your love and support. It truly means a lot from the bottom of our hearts. Also, too, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and has also followed us on all of our social medias, from Facebook, Instagram, and now Twitter. Uh, if you haven't, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. It truly helps out the channel, and it's free. 
Uh, and if you also haven't already, like you just heard me mention, go over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Give us a like and follow on all three of those. We are doing our best to keep up with all of our social medias. And uh, don't forget, if you'd like to get yourself something cool, like this sweatshirt here I'm wearing, or this hat, you can do so by heading over to the Food Lover Review Show merchandise site. The link will be down in the description below, like always, and also right at the end of this video. And when it comes to stuff like what I'm wearing, like this sweatshirt here, or t-shirts, it comes in multiple colors. So you can choose the color you want, and it'll come in with this really cool design right here. And with all of that said, we'll see you all on the next review.